What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and this is the Lockley Vision Elite Video Smart Lock. And this thing, you can use your phone to see who's at the front door. I reviewed the Lockley Vision last year. That was the first version of this smart lock. And it was really good, but it did consume batteries every few months. So they actually did something very, very innovative. I have yet to see in any smart lock and they added solar charging and this is one of the things that i was really excited about reviewing this product if you're interested in any of these products in the video check out the links in the video description below let's take a look and see what's inside but before we do that let's check the features so it works with alexa and google so it is a smart device that's connected to your home automation which is great and it's compatible for apple and android devices it comes with a lifetime customer support, full HD video with night vision, integrated doorbell, two-way intercom, like I said, uh, video storage, internal memory card, Pin Genie touchscreen keypad, I'll show you that later, motion alerts and tamper notifications. So if someone's trying to break in and they keep on hitting the buttons, it'll alert remote unlocking and locking, one touch and auto lock feature, which I like using on the other locks, advanced 3D print reader, one of my favorite features, and two, quick swap lithium battery and swiveling solar panel. You can use this QR code, pause at any time to scan that for step-by-step -step instruction. Here's a welcome card and a phone number in case you need it. Here's a starting guide, installation guide right here comes with templates so if you have a brand new door you can use this and cut holes here is a reboot pinhole if you need to reset it and you do have the ability to charge it using a power bank now right here it tells you the solar panel charges the battery and it keeps it optimal charge around 50 to 80 percent right here is your activation card you're going to need that when you set up the app so don't throw out the box right here Looks like we have the lock. Wow, this is it's solid. So you can wow uh, tilts. Oh, that's cool. And this is the solar panel. And the camera. HD camera. Actually three connections and the blade. Make sure the torque blade is vertical. Here's the fingerprint scanner. In case the battery completely dies, then you can use a 9 volt battery to give it power. And this is the reset pinhole if you need to reboot it. Go ahead and take this out now. And this looks like the battery. All right, let's take a look here. This is probably the keys I'm thinking. Yeah. So yeah, these are the keys. And I think this is a power adapter for the hub. And this is the deadbolt and a sign for your doorbell lock. So this is the back side of the smart lock. This goes inside your house. And this is the hub I was talking about. There we go. So here's the door lock I have currently right now. It's the Lockley Flex. Really nice. You can have multiple users. You just scan your finger. Right there and you're in. Or if you want to lock it, you just tap right there and you can lock it. What I really like about this is that the battery lasts really, really long time. I don't even know. I haven't changed out the battery yet. And uh, yeah, so I want I to be able to tell you. I think it lasts almost a year. It takes just four AA batteries and it auto locks after a minute. So there's a template if you need it in case you have a new door. There's the deadbolt right here. And you can extend it by twisting it like that. Okay, next thing we're gonna extend the lock. This is the upside, it tells you. If your door strike plate does not fit, make sure you outline it and center it with the existing hole. 
before chiseling. So make sure the red dot on the deadbolt matches the red dot on the strike plate. And I'm using extra long screws for extra security. So it bites through the door frame and attaches to the house frame. You don't want to over tighten because then you can strip out the screw. So right here you want to peel off the tape cover and unwind the wires. Make sure that torque blade is facing vertically. Run the wires underneath the deadbolt and then press and hold to make sure that tape sticks to the door. And then you want to run the cables, like I said, under the deadbolt and through the hole of this plate. And then once again, you want to press the tape against the door and get the two long bolts and screw the long bolts in. And then sometimes there's wires jammed up on the corner right here. You just need to pull them out and connect all the wires. These are one-way plugs so you can't really mess this up. Just make sure you seat the cables in flush and properly and then tuck them nice and neat inside so it, they don't pinch when you tighten everything down with screws. This last cable connection is from the faceplate, and I'm using a flathead screwdriver to press down on the connector, not the wires, because you don't want to damage the wires. They're very thin and delicate. And make sure you don't pinch any of the wires, putting everything together. And when you screw everything in, just double check the corners and the sides. Now it's a great idea from Lockley to include two battery packs. Just in case one dies, you can easily swap out the other one. Now using the push pin, you want to slide down the battery pack. That's going to energize the unit. And then you want to push in the push pin for about 10 seconds. And this is going to do a self-test diagnostic on the lock. Make sure the deadbolt is not pressed up against the door jam, or else it's going to get stuck. Next, we're going to install the Lockley Hub to my wireless router. Make sure these lights are lit and it takes two minutes to self-calibrate. Here's a little troubleshooting guide if you need it. Now install the Lockley app and tap Vision and swipe through the wizard setup mode. And next, it's going to try to connect to the Vision. And once it's connected, then you're going to type in your admin code and you just confirm make sure you type in your admin code correctly and write it down it'll sync with the lock and then you tap on front door or whatever you want to name it later on you can change that we're going to test it and see if it locks and unlocks using the app and it does which is good so we're connected Now, as you can see, it notifies you, letting you know if anyone locked or unlocked your door. Tap on the eyeball to see who's at the front door. You see a car passing by right here. Oh, showing you around in the app. Let's go ahead and tap on Lockley Vision Elite. And as you can see on top, tap on the eyeball if you want to see who's at the front door. And on the right side is the battery life. And on the bottom, you can lock and unlock the door simply tapping right there. Now, if you tap on log, this tells you who came and gone and also shows you video alerts. Now right here, let's tap on access and scroll over to fingerprint. This is where you add any user and their fingerprint. And on the bottom right is settings. Now scroll up and you could change the name of the lock and the camera settings right here. You could turn off 
infrared lights that should save you some battery life and right here you can switch from HD to standard def let's go ahead and hit back and right here smart alert so smart alert is you can change the settings for your motion detection these are my settings and so I also get alerted if the battery is near depleted you can also adjust how far away the motion detector detects and right here I set my auto lock timer to one minute I think that's perfect I turned on my notifications so anyone that uses their fingerprint to unlock the door I get notified of that person's name if someone tries to unlock the door five times and fails then I get notified of that as well and right here on the bottom, as you can see, you can reset the unit and update the unit. And this is how to update it. Here's a little video sample. My son and my wife at the front door. As you can see, the frames per second and the quality is really good. Now for adding a fingerprint user, what you want to do is press for one second and release. And you want to do this six times. And there we go, passed. If it's raining really hard, your fingerprint scanner may not work properly. It won't be able to detect your fingerprint. So tap on the screen to wake it up and put in your PIN code to unlock the door. And to lock it, just tap on the screen. I'm going to show you the reaction time after you hit the doorbell. Within a few seconds, it's going to notify you and pull up the video. No Luckily Vision Elite does come with keys, so you can always move the solar panel to the side and use the key for any reason whatsoever. To activate Alexa skill, only thing you have to do is open up the Alexa app and then click on the bottom right hand corner for more and then go to your skills. Then you want to search Lockly. When you enable this skill, make sure you sign in using your username and password and below you can see the commands used to unlock the door so after trying out the lockley vision elite for a few days i can tell you i love this smart lock i love the solar panel solar charging that is genius very innovative if you guys are interested in the lockley vision elite or the lockley flex Check out the links in the video description below. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that might be interested in this product, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos.